In this video, I want to show you how to um, compensate the in, in currency inside the channel of Tektronix scope. You can see on channel 2, uh, there are some DC offset. If we look at channel 2, um, there are some offset. Ideally, it should be zero volt, but you can see when we have 2 volt per division, 5 volt per division, there's always some always some DC outside over here. If you look at the probe, perhaps the probe we have, the probe is already grounded. So how to fix this currency on the internal channel of this probe? We need to use a function called signal pass compensation inside the oscilloscope. Let me first show you how to find the information from Tektronix's website so that you can have a better idea about signal pass compensation. Now we are at the official website from Tektronix about 3 series MDO oscilloscope. We go to technical docs. Uh, you can see there are different categories. We go to menu. And uh, we can go here, called 3 Series Mixed Domain Oscilloscope Performance Verification. This is the performance verification procedure for this scope. We click the link, and uh, this is the part number, release date. Let's download file. So if we scroll down this table of contents, let's search for signal pass compensation. We can find it on page 80. So this is the procedure for signal pass compensation. This is the procedure of signal pass compensation. So we go to the utility and choose uh, compensation. We can run SPC routine. Note that this is the uh, installation file for the firmware upgrades. Uh, you can see that to run the SPC, we need to let the oscilloscope run for at least about 20 minutes so that the internal temperature reaches its normal operating temperature. This is very important to avoid any temperature drift because when you start up the oscilloscope the temperature may be different than the normal operating temperature and this, the routine is pretty straightforward if you run SPC it will take about 5 to 15 minutes to finish each channel after that the SPC status will be shown as passed and this routine is finished now let's go to the bench. Now we go to the utility calibration. So first we have to move all the input signals before proceeding. Now we need to remove the channel 1 and channel 2. Channel 1 and the channel 2 are just removed. Let's go to utility again one more time. Calibration. So, we need to run the SPC. SPC is the signal pass compensation. And it's to correct the DC currencies caused by temperature uh, drift over the probes. We are going to disconnect all probes, cables from all channels and RF. Um, so, SPC will take about 10 minutes to run. And the uh, SPC will leave the oscilloscope in the default settings. So now let's run the SPC. So you can see the SPC status is in progress.
after about 10 minutes uh, the information window pops up it says signal pass compensation has successfully completed hit x so now let's turn on channel 2 you can you can see the channel 2 basically the offset is changed to 0 volt which is uh, what we expected channel 3 and channel 4 looks pretty good now channel 2 is right here so now we increase voltage per division so 100, 100 volt per division uh, still is very good so it completes the SPC standing for signal pass compensation thank you